Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out. Yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head. Welcome to the video, guys. As y'all can see, I'm in the car, a little bit of a different space, but welcome. I'm today. I'll be going over my favorite ab exercises. Not only are they my, they do it a lot. Not only are they my favorite ab exercises, but they are the ab exercises that I would recommend for you guys to do. Now, first and foremost, my number one ab exercise would be a hanging leg raise. Right? And there's a couple variations of that. Right? You got the uh, you know um, everybody's seen the the sort of like dip machine where you put your your elbows are supported and your arms are bent and then another variation is where you're on the dip bars and your arms are extended and then another variation is when you're hanging from the pull-up bars and then with that you can have your arms bent or your arms locked out starting with my favorite variation i would say my favorite variation of that would be on the dip bars with your arms extended so that way you get a nice static tricep hold and I feel like I get a better contraction and then moving to my second favorite one would be on the dip bars with my elbows supported so typically my ab set would be as many as I can do with my arms extended and then I would transition to having my elbows uh, supported on the dip machine or the dip rack I don't know what it's called actually <laughs> with the leg raises on the pull-up bars the reason they're not my favorite is just because you know, it takes it takes a lot of form. It takes a lot of form strength and grip strength to you know be hanging on the pull up bar while you're going through your repetitions. And a lot of times, my forearms are already burnt out from from training anyway. So I don't need any more stimulus to my forearms. Um, but if you feel like you need to work on your grip strength, then for sure, hang from the pull up bars and do leg raises. When I'm hanging on the pull-up bar, I find that when I bend my arm, when I flex my arm at a 90 degree angle and then perform my leg raises, it takes a lot of the stress off my lower back and it takes an emphasis off my back muscles, off my spinal erectors. And then the next ab exercise I would recommend, my next favorite ab exercise would be a, uh, an incline sit-up slash a weighted sit-up. And just the reason, the reason I decide I pick an incline and weighted is simply because I feel like just doing a sit-up is not enough overload. It's not enough overload to really challenge your muscles. <laughs> in the army, in the army, we would literally do like a hundred sit-ups for a PT test, right? That's nothing. That's nothing. Perform a sit-up on the decline, and that raises the intensity of it, right? Also, with that, if for some reason, if for some reason a decline sit-up becomes too easy, and you can crank 50 of those out then I'll put a dumbbell behind my neck right just hold a dumbbell behind your neck and do decline sit-ups that way I am not I am not a big fan of oblique training you know like the uh I don't know if y'all can even see mine right now because I'm kind of I feel like I'm kind of chunky but like the uh, the obliques right the little fish gills on the side I don't really do a lot of alternating like sit-ups right i don't do like elbow to knees and that sort of thing when i do my leg raises i just bring my feet straight up as opposed to twisting at the top or anything like that just because i want to maintain i want to maintain as much as the v taper as i can so i want to maintain my wide shoulders and my thin waist and when i train my obliques it makes my waist a little bit wider uh i also do not recommend side bends everybody's seen it right and maybe some of y'all do it maybe some of y'all do it you stand you're standing up and you're holding a weight in one hand and then you're you know, you're bending, you're kind of bending to the side. I do not do those. I guess if you want to build blocky obliques, then then yeah, that could work. From an aesthetic standpoint, I would never do those. I would never do those. Also, I think some people get the misconception that by doing side bends, you might be able to spot reduce love handle fat, which is not the case at all. If you got love handles and you're doing side bends to get rid of them, this is gonna make your, this is gonna make your love handles even more prominent because it's building up your obliques. So stay away from those. The third and final ab exercise that I would recommend to you guys is a vacuum pose, right? I am terrible at it. I am terrible at the vacuum pose. I don't think I don't think I can even really create. I think I created a vacuum one time, and that was with Danielle's help because she was pushing my freaking stomach in. But anyways, the what you would do, what you do is you flex your, you know, you stand, you stand tall, right? Just chest up, shoulders back, and then you blow out all the air from your stomach, and then you try to picture 
pushing your belly button through the back of your spine, right? So you're trying to make, you know, if, oh God, that car came real close to me. I shouldn't be doing this while I drive, huh? If this is your, if this is your back and this is your belly button, you want to be breathing all the air out and pushing and trying to bring your belly button to touch your spine, right? And, and then once you get it, once you breathe all the air out and you move your, you move your stomach in as far as you can, and you flex your core, flex your abs and tighten it down and then just try to hold that pose for, for as long as you can. Um, and I find that when I do that sort of, when I, when I do that sort of training, it definitely tightens up my core. When I practice that pose regularly, when my abs are relaxed, they're not so much sitting out, they're more tightened up. Well, that's gonna be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, drop a like. If you didn't learn anything, leave a dislike. If you got something to share with everybody, leave it in a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.